there has been a historically inseparable relationship between the advancement of computing power, the importance of the semiconductor industry and the struggle for military power and geopolitical influence on the world stage. Semiconductors emerged from the Cold War arms race and that they've shaped military competition since that point. Second, that the era of globalization was also not coincidentally an era of military unipolarity. Third, that military competition is back big time with a frightening arms race occurring right now in Asia. And in particular, the missile race during the Cold War was a key driver of advancements in computing power. Apollo spacecraft that took astronauts to the moon was guided by some of the uh, first chips ever made. And indeed, the companies that pioneered the chip, like Texas Instruments or Fairchild Semiconductor, in California had most of their first customers from the defense industrial base in the United States. And it was this initial military demand that set in motion the advances that would lead both to the invention of the chip, earliest days of the chip industry, the days of Jack Kilby and Bob Noyce, who shared uh, the initial patent for inventing the first integrated circuit. There's been a deep interrelationship between the Pentagon and demand for the most advanced computing power. Over the course of the Cold War, they also paved the way towards a revolution in the way that wars were fought. In the Vietnam War, it was a war fought by guerrillas in a relatively low-tech struggle. But already during the 1970s, it was becoming clear that the combination of computing power with military systems would begin to transform the ways that wars were fought. And this transformation is still being played out today. Why was the Soviet Union unable to keep up when it comes, comes to computing power? From the earliest days of the Soviet chip industry, the motto was copy it. And as a result of that, the Soviet Union always had a small, low quality, low tech chip sector, not only in undermining the Soviet Union's economy, but also in deciding the arms race uh, that determined the outcome of the Cold War.